So when you do color correction, a lot of times you don't have to start from scratch. You can say, hey, look, I did a lot of work creating this grade, you know, creating a look, maybe, you know, beautiful glowed highlights or something like that. And I want to use that again and again. And one of the ways that you can do that is with power grades. So let's walk through what a power grade is and how you can use it. Sure. The power grades are, they play together with the stills. Basically, you, you, uh, you make a correction and you save it as a still and then you, Put that in the power grade folder. So, uh, for, for example, I'm going to come down over to the gallery. Okay. And you're going to notice here that I have three presets that I've already had from previous thing. One was deep warm, other is a highlight glow, and the other is thin black. And they were all dragged across and put into there. So, if I actually, if I would take this one and drag it in, I would come back over here and change the label, and I would call it Steve even though it doesn't look like you, but it's something we know. <laughs> so now I'm going to go back to the color tab, and that's up there as well. There's the okay. Steve grade. Now, in theory, how this all works out, the best way to do it, obviously, you go through and do your primary grading first, right? Mm -hmm. But just to, for something quick here, I'll just do an auto balance so we have something done on that. So now I'm going to come up, and I'm going to want to use these color grades. Sure. Okay, so all I'm going to do is right-click on it, and I could add correction, and there it is. Now I can also, you notice I have a highlight glow here. And if I just click to add, add the correction again, it's going to wipe out the other. I'm going to go back to the deep warm. If you double click on it, it'll pop up in the still. We don't want that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so some people will double click there. So we're going to turn it's that muscle back memory. off. That's what muscle you think memory. you're going to do, a double click. So we're going to turn the wipe off, yep. toggle wipe. And now I'm just going to come back here and single click on the mouse for the deep warm. And now what I want to do is I want to add this next one. To this, I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to say a pen note graph and it's going to load it to the back end of that. Got it. Okay. So now you have a combination of the two. I'm going to do undo. What I'm going to come here now and do is say display the note graph. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this particular one only has one note in it. But if we had a series of nodes creating a look, we can click and drag any one of those back out onto it. Or the whole group. Or the whole thing. It says apply all if you want it. But here I'm going to take this and drag it on. And that's applied. Just wanted to show another way of doing that. And then, of course, we hit the exit key on that. Now, the difference between the power grades and the stills is when you start a brand new session, the power grades are always going to be there and live for you to grab onto, whereas the stills are only married with a particular job. And when we get into the gallery section, we'll, we'll show you how to come back and uh, grab those stills from previous jobs and put them into your current job. But that's another chapter. Right, so if you, and what that would be useful for is to say, oh, we've got a, maybe another version of a, of a spot that we had a client mm -hmm. come in a couple of weeks ago, and now we want to do that same look so we can pull those grades from that other job and bring it into this job. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. But that's power grades. It's a really quick, fast way of executing some very complex uh, grades that you've done in the past. You want to use them again. Power grades is the answer. Yeah.